Hey everybody, so in this video I'm going to be talking about slowing down time when you have a BPD trigger in the middle of a conversation. Uh, my name is Karen and I write for More Than Borderline and I want to reiterate just how empowering it feels to be able to do this because as somebody with BPD, I didn't grow up having that intuition. Um, I didn't know how to empathize with people when it came to these emotionally charged conversations. So um, just having that sense of awareness when dealing with, you know, partners that upset me or best friends that disappointed me, you know, teetering that line between being passive and um, being too aggressive in a conversation really was a game changer for me. And something that I've done is kind of imagine like that I'm Dr. Strange and I'm able to slow down time, that I'm able to, um, that I just don't have to go with my knee-jerk reaction and react in the way that my mind is telling me to because as somebody with BPD, when I'm hurt, I am I just want to go with whatever I'm feeling. I want to express that someone is evil because that's what I feel they are. And, you know, I don't do this so often today because I went to DBT and I go to trauma therapy. But in the past, I didn't even know that I was acting out of character. At times, I would do things that were very outlandish because I went with the BPD trigger instead of slowing down and doing my Doctor Strange method, which is to think before I talk. Um, thinking before I speak gives me the confidence to react in a way that I'm proud of later on. Um, I really feel like I'm slowing down time in my mind, even though in real time things may not seem like things are slowing down. But for me, I just imagine I'm Doctor Strange and I'm able to think about what I want to say feel my emotions, don't deny them, but give validity to the fact that I feel pain. And sometimes this means crying when I'm talking to a partner and admitting that what they said or did hurt me without lashing out at them. I think it's about taking accountability for how you feel. If you are sensitive, it's okay to admit that as long as you're not hurting other people. And something that I keep in mind that I learned in therapy is, you know, I'm triggered right now. I can't help the thoughts that I'm having, but I can help my behavior. I can control whether or not I'm going to hurt myself or hurt the people around me. And if I don't do either of those things, that means I've done a good job. So that is my advice for this video and a little bit of insight into the things I've dealt with. Um, feel free to leave a comment in the article that I just wrote about interpersonal communication in BPD. And I will see you guys in my next one. Thank you.